Hello, this is Todd Tracy with the Tracy Law Firm in Dallas, Texas, here to give another Todd Talk. And this time I want to speak about safety systems as it relates to um, the various systems in place that uh, provide automatic steering, blind spot detection, automatic braking, things of that nature. Those systems are wonderful safety advances, but I want, I, I want the viewer to understand that those systems are dependent on the following. Sensors greatest enemy is heat, vibration, water, and time. Think about it like this. Take your cell phone, take your computer and get it wet and see if it works the same as it did before it got wet, before it stayed in a hot in your vehicle on a hot summer's day, before you dumped a bunch of dirt on it. See if it works the same. It will not. The same is true for the sensors that are going to be stopping your vehicle, that are going to be steering your vehicle away from harm, that are going to be adjusting the speed that your vehicle is driving from an oncoming vehicle. Those systems are dependent on computer systems, and computer systems, uh, their Achilles uh, heel is time, vibration, heat, and water. Now, when, the, when everything is working perfectly in a laboratory environment, those systems work perfectly. However, when you get them out in the real world and under real world conditions, they only work 50% of the time at best. That's why at the end of the day, the systems uh, have to be dependent on responsible driving. And that's why the crash, the, the crash worthiness systems that we rely upon so much, our seat belts, our doors, our seats, our airbags, have to always be functional. I want you to think about this for a minute. If these safety systems and these, this technology advances were the panacea for all of the, uh, the wrongs out there on our highways today, then the vehicle manufacturers would not have the, uh, the option given to the user to deactivate the systems. They can still be deactivated. Why is that? Because they're not foolproof yet. Try to turn on your TV remote, and some of the times it won't even work. You'll have to reboot your, in, your entire system. Same thing is true for your computer. The way I look at it is until my computer will turn on 100% of the time, or my TV remote will, t will work 100% of the time, we are not ready as a, uh, as a society to rely upon technology uh, to drive our cars without uh, any attention being uh, paid by the captain of the ship.